So this is 160% load now, going up. It could go any time now. Amazing. Oh, we're hearing some cracking noises. Today we're going to test what is potentially one of the first full natural fibre wind turbine blades for a small wind turbine. Wind turbine blades normally made of an e-glass reinforcement, specifically for smaller wind energy industry. As you get bigger, the guys typically will put a bit more carbon fibre in there for stiffness, but it has uh, an environmental effect and this is something that we're trying to get away from here. So we've gone down the natural fibre route for that particular reason. This is flax fabric, uh, so this is uh, essentially a byproduct of a plant. This is stage one where we're trying to get the natural fibre plants into the reinforcement. This next stage after that um, is actually to make the resin out of, uh, out of plant extract as well, out of natural oils. If we can get to that final stage and have a fully natural composite blade, I think that's the holy grail for the industry. Today we're going to test this blade to final destruction. It has two stages. It has to pass both stages to pass what's known as IEC 61400 standards. The first stage is normal operation loads, which we're hoping it will pass quite easily. Second stage is we need to pass extreme load conditions, which is essentially a, uh, a hurricane force scenario, uh, around 135 mile an hour winds. This blade will be pulled by the winch system with a load cell, and it'll be stepped through its regime until the point in which it breaks. Uh, We've anchored it down at the root there, so it's, uh, it's fixed at the root, and we would expect a normal blade to always break down there, but this one's a complete unknown, so we don't know how far it's going to go, we don't know when it's going to break, and we don't know where it's going to break. We have to put these extreme forces on it, just because this is what the IEC standard expects of, of this test. Um, in total, this blade will probably exceed around nearly half a tonne in load in this test it will see a fraction of that in reality, but it's tested to this level because it has to last 25 years in service and these systems cannot fail under any circumstances. This blade, in fact, was only manufactured two weeks ago, but it's been two and a half years leading up to that point, developing these fibres um, and developing the process which goes around that. So you've had this for two weeks and now you're going to break it? Such is life in engineering. Are you guys ready? Okay, Chimera C10 flax test, going up to 25% load, 0.37 kilonewtons. What we're doing now is we're taking it up in 25% stages, up to 100% loading, and we need to dwell in between each loading stage so we, the fibres have got time to relax and recover. About to take it up to 50% loading. We usually take bets when this is going to break. None of us expect that it's going to break at full load. So uh, I've bet 240%. Darshil bet 260%. Eric's bet 280%. What's your estimate? You can go higher or lower. Obviously. I'm going to go higher. So you want 310? Yep. Done. You better not win, by the way. So you actually think that it will pass all the tests? 310's passed, by the way. Yeah, yeah I think it's going to pass. Yep. Confidence. I've got confidence in you guys, you look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> okay, it's 100% load, that's stage one pass, there's been no noises and no visual cracks. This is where it starts to get a bit more exciting. This is 160% load now, going up. It could go any time now. <coughs> that wasn't us. <laughs> <laughs> We've made the best natural fiber blade in the world, I think. As you can tell, our bets we've all lost. Brady's won. 
Hooray for Brady. Oh, we're hearing some cracking noises. It's losing load. It's essentially failing at the moment. It won't take that next load, will it? It won't take. It won't go up to the load. It'll just break, won't yeah. it? Yeah. Let's just pull it and see what happens, eh? So what it's doing now, it's, uh, it's what's called pinning. And uh, the pinging is just uh, individual fibre strands breaking one by one. That usually signifies that it's just going to do a catastrophic failure soon. But I think because this system's so ductile, it's just going to keep bending and we've actually just slipped on the saddle at the top where we're pulling, so we have to stop the test anyway. But this blade passed all IEC standards and for two and a half years of work, it's, uh, it's been well worth it. It's been fantastic.